Hi there. So in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, the sort of end goal. So I've already done what I wanted to um, take you through. So you can see what uh, the arcade script does, uh, how it works. And uh, you can see exactly um, the sort of user experience. And then I'll um, just work through the arcade script. So let's see what, what, what actually happens um, with the script I'm going to show you. Um, well, if I, uh, if, as you can see, I'm just on a web app here. It's a very simple, um, sorry, web viewer. I'm on, I'm on the um, map viewer. And, um, but what I'm going to show you here would work on a web app or an instant app or um, actually as well uh, on field maps uh, because it is just arcade script. So, you know, be brought across. So let's go into edit mode on this and select this um, sort of eating place. So I'll click on it. And you can see I've got various bits of information here. I think it was sourced from um, sort of OSM or something and um, and geocoded to by postcode. So it's pretty rough. So it's in the wrong place. But what I'd like to do is when I move it, I'd just like to see what the geometry change was. So I'll grab it because I'm in edit mode and I'll move it, let's say, um, straight across more or less to this building here on Broad Street and release. So now it says the point was moved 203.21 meters on a bearing of 92.36 nice degrees. So, um, which looks about right, it wasn't. Um, I was trying to make it exactly 90, but not by freehand, I'm not. But the point is I've, ju I've just moved it. If I move it again, the same thing will happen. Um, but don't forget, it was, if it was sort of over here, let's just, um, so it was sort of, you know, sort of straight across to, to the west. So if I drop it down here, right to Melton Road, near as damn it. It actually says point moves move 307 um, meters on a, on a bearing of 169 degrees, i.e. due south, almost due south of where it originally was, not from where I moved it over there. It's constantly measuring the bearing from and distance from the original position. So just do it one more, one more time. Let's just do, uh, click on that discard edit so it goes back there you see so we will select feature and we'll drag it across the line so go due west 267 that's good 259 meters but if we drag it due east it was moved 90 degrees so you can see how it's always locking to that original feature um, up there and continually updating this so and I could leave it there I could do update so I've moved it over there. It's still the wrong position, actually. Uh, but I've got my um, uh, geometry change information. So the um, point was moved. So um, how is that done? If I go to, so I make sure that layer is this sort of Leicester pubs thing is 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 um, selected. And then down the right hand side, go to this button, which is forms. So this is like the forms wizard or smart form. And this is where I created the, the rule. So the, I've just let all the usual um, uh, fields come through that, that I have. I created this field, it's in the service. So it's just a, um, you can see it's a max length um, string. That's, that's all it is, 256, that's, that's it. Uh, but I don't allow editing it's because it's got a calculated expression so you would click on add expression to add all this I've already put it in there so I click on the three dots and go to edit and let's have a look at what it how it works um, so it's actually pretty um, so sort of straightforward really because it's using internal arcade strip fun functions and, uh, and and features literally um, I, I, I did declare a few variables at the top there but um, the, the, the key thing that's going on here is original feature. So original feature actually holds, as it sounds, the all the original information um, before you updated the um, information. So before you updated the feature, the object. Now in this case, I'm looking at geometry. So I'm saying if equals the two geometries, i.e. the original and the new one, the one just just drawn, i.e. I dragged it, if it equals, if they're the same, that, that by default returns true, so then the jump to is not updated, fine. But actually I'm more interested when it is updated. So when it's not uh, true, 
um, I calculate distance moved and the bearing calc and then I piece together a little concatenated string that I return into the field. So let's just have a quick look at this. Distance moved, I put a ceiling on there, that's what the seal's for, so that's just to make it, you know, comma two, so just, just hard it to two decimal places, that's all, otherwise you'll get like eight or whatever it is. Um, so the first thing I do is, well, what's the distance? So it's a distance function. You can see that in here. If I click on functions and just type dist, you can get distance and also the distance geodetic. If you want to know a bit more about these things, don't forget to click on the little I for information and, and it gives useful um, things. So, so it's the gray circle stuff there. And, um, and But it go, go, goes into a bit more detail there to, to clarify the differences and what, what the uh, function does. So I go to, and that takes distance takes two um, two uh, parameters there, and that's the original feature and the feature. So what's the distance between the old original feature before it's moved and then the new one when it's moved, and round it off um, to two decimal places, and then I say, well, what's the bearing? Again, we're saved by um, Arcade Script because in Arcade is bearing, and it tells you all about it. Uh, clockwise from the north, that sort of thing, from 0 to 360. A little bit about it. You can also calculate the angle um, of the third point. So, um, we, using the third point. But um, I'm just using a straightforward um, bearing. You can see the graph there. And um, so I say bearing calc equals again, I use ceiling. I'll um, format it down to just two decimal places. Um, don't forget, you're going from the original feature. So make sure you've got it the sort of right way round here. Um, so both with distance and ceiling. Um, if you get it wrong way around, you'll get it sort of reversed. Um, if you see what I mean, you know, because you're always going from where I was originally um, to where I am now. However, you you know you could you could slightly alter that maybe and um, use the new 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 feature um, geometry. But but you'd um, be after you've saved it, you'd, you'd then be using that anyway. But the point being is I wanted to know, based on the original position when it was geocoded, um, how far has it moved when I drag it across the screen, and also what was the bearing um, I moved on. And then underneath I just create a string called change info, it's just using this script. Um, and um, so I concatenate point was moved, plus the distance moved, which is uh, this bit, distance, plus um, I add in a bit of text there, meters on a bearing of, and then bearing calc, um, which also has the ceiling as I said, and I add degrees to the end of it. And then I just return that string, and that goes into the field value. Always hit a test, it's useful to do, you may not get you know particularly interesting responses sometimes in, in the test, but at least you know it, it's, it's worked, it's uh, um, executed except, and works okay. So that, that that's how I that's how I do it. Now, just one thing before I uh, leave this video. Obviously, we we checked on the geometry, but actually, I I don't have to um, just check on geometry. I could check on the attributes. So I could say um, so I could look at um, if you look at the original feature. So um, I go to original feature. And pick up, um, sorry, it's there, of course it was. I, don't, I, don't, I thought it was there, I couldn't see it at first. Um, blinds are back. So original feature, and let's get, and then we can pick a particular um, attribute. So we could say original feature postcode. You see, so we you could in your script take something like this. So if the geometry hasn't changed, well, what about the um, the uh, attribute? So has the postcode been updated? So if original postcode is equal to, and then um, let's just go back to feature and we can type this in obviously I'm just being a bit lazy so if equals um, uh, postcode uh, of the original um, from the original data um, and then compare it to what's just been typed in is that the same 
and um, and then off you go with that. So it doesn't have to be um, the jump tree. You can do the same with attributes. So you can detect was an attribute updated, um, and then you know sort of put it put it into uh, uh, record that into another attribute, or just inform the user. Uh, or what have you. Anyway, th there we go. I hope that's useful. Um, it's, you know, dollar sign original feature. That's really what we're talking about here. And it's very powerful. And you'll see it on this list um, when you're inside um, your expression. You'll see um, original feature as one of your um, options there to click on and get cracking. Anyway, I hope you find that useful. Thank you.